Hello, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jacqueline Polliff, and today I'm going to be presenting the second concert in my Spring 2023 online concert series. I'll be playing uh, a couple of harp show pieces today, and as usual, the performance will last about 30 minutes. The program is below in the description, but I'll also announce it as I go along and share a few thoughts about each piece that I'm playing. Uh, the chat is open. If you'd like to say anything there, feel free to post comments or questions, and I will respond through the chat uh, throughout the performance. So as I mentioned, today's theme is harp show pieces, and I'm, be I'm going to be playing a couple of uh, big pieces from the harp repertoire. And these are really pieces that um, use the harp in kind of a standard way. So I won't be doing anything particularly unusual today or anything boundary pushing and no extended techniques or anything like that. Instead, you'll hear lots of uh, rolled chords and arpeggios, a few glissandos, some harmonics, a lot of these very um, standard techniques on the harp that really, um, I think, show the harp in a very idiomatic light. And I'm quite excited to be presenting these pieces. I think they're uh, such beautiful additions to the harp repertoire and uh, showcase the harp really nicely. I'm going to start with the Impromptu by Gabrielle Fauré. Uh, which is a piece that has been um, played by harpists all around the world many, many times. <laughs> it's also been recorded by all kinds of different harpists and frequently comes up on um, competition lists. Um, so it is quite a standard part of the harp repertoire, and Foray um, originally wrote it for Paris Conservatory students. Uh, quite interestingly, there's a debate about whether Foray wrote the entire impromptu himself or whether perhaps he had um, some assist assistance from a harpist in order to meet his deadline. About halfway through, after a series of um, glissandos, the piece kind of changes a bit in feel, particularly in the feel for the hands, and it feels a bit more idiomatic from there on the out. So some people have suggested, uh, based on this and also based on some stories that exist within the harp world, that maybe a harpist uh, stepped in to kind of <laughs> help the piece make it to the finish line. Um, so this is quite a long piece. It's about eight or nine minutes. And um, the title impromptu really suggests something kind of rough, a bit of a sketch. And you'll hear that the piece moves through all of these um, different sections. We kind of have a moment um, where we explore something and then that wraps up and it moves on to a further section and so on and so forth. So I think there's various ways of listening to it or thinking of it. Uh, to build upon the sketch idea, I think you could think of it kind of like an artist's sketchbook where perhaps they're spending an afternoon um, out maybe in the countryside or around a city or something. And this piece is sort of like uh, flipping through that sketchbook from um, scene to scene to scene. I think also you could think of it in terms of perhaps a novel. Uh, for me, it seems kind of similar to some of the big sprawling novels where rather than having a really tidy arc, um, things just sort of keep expanding and there's yet another section and a new section and a new twist and a new turn. Um, so these are both kind of ideas that I like to think about in moving through this piece and all of these beautiful different sections. Um, it starts out with these really iconic rolled chords and then uh, all sorts of things come up. Lots of harmonics are sprinkled throughout. Uh, there's many arpeggios, um, some descending, uh, some kind of sweeping up and down the harp, some with these uh, sort of specialty fingerings where you're playing your fingers out of order. Um, there's a lot of sections of low rolled chords that I particularly like, um, some really atmospheric glissandos. So <laughs> we kind of cover it all in this impromptu. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to be playing the Fantasy in C minor by Louis Spohr. And Spohr was a German composer who lived from 1784 to 1859. Um, he, uh, in addition to composing, also played the violin and conducted. And he was quite successful during his lifetime, although he's not um, as well remembered today as uh, many other composers, but his music is still performed and recorded quite a bit. Um, so Spohr uh, played in a harp and violin duo with his wife, Dorette. Dorette Scheidler was a harpist. And so he composed some music for that uh, combination, but he also wrote this lovely uh, solo piece, this fantasy that I'm about to play. And I think in writing the piece, he really wanted the harp to kind of step into the spotlight. Uh, sometimes people view the harp as uh, more of an accompanimental instrument or something a bit more in the background. But I think Spohr wanted to put the harp <laughs> solidly in its role as a solo instrument um, with this piece. And um, it's quite well written for the harp. I would assume that um, his wife, Dorette, had some input or perhaps offered some editing suggestions uh, throughout the process, as it is uh, really written in kind of a, a harp-friendly way. And you'll hear that it's a very dramatic piece. Again, it's um, a bit on the long side, similar to the foray that I just played. Um, and throughout it, there's kind of these um, sections that keep returning. So frequently you'll hear something, and then a little bit later, later you'll hear it again, uh, sometimes in a new key or just a bit, a bit varied, but a lot of rotating through similar sections. So we start with this very dramatic, slow introduction, uh, really kind of moving up and down the harp a lot. And then we move into the main theme. Um, and in the main theme, um, the melody trades off. So it starts in the right hand in the higher register, which is quite typical, and it stays there for quite some time. But then uh, later in that section, the left hand gets to take over uh, playing the melody. And you'll see that I'm going to use my, my thumb for that in the upright position. Um, it's a really extended passage of the etouffee thumb. And then this um, is followed by a section of sweeping arpeggios up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> and then he kind of rotates through all of these things again, <laughs> but a bit different as he moves through them uh, throughout the piece. So here is Spohr's Fantasy in C minor. Thank you. 
To end today's program, I wanted to play something that is not a harp show piece, but is quite appropriate for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this is an arrangement of O oh Danny Boy, also known as London Arriere, uh, the Irish traditional song. And this arrangement was done by Carlos Salzedo. So this is just um, a short piece to kind of wrap things up today. I think it's a really uh, pretty arrangement. It is uh, somewhat in keeping with our theme as um, it's all pretty standard. There's nothing terribly unexpected or unusual about it. I think Salzedo chose a, a lot of uh, lovely and straightforward harmonies. You'll hear the melody throughout in the right hand, um, primarily accompanied by chords, but as the piece kind of builds, the left hand changes to these arpeggio patterns that are a bit demanding, <laughs> um, and it comes to a lovely slow conclusion. So I thought this would be kind of nice to balance out the big dramatic pieces and also in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So here is Carlos Salzedo's arrangement of Oh Danny Boy. Thank you so much for coming to today's performance. I really enjoyed sharing this music with you and appreciate everyone taking the time to attend. Um, if you'd like to make a contribution, there's information about how to do so below in the description through either PayPal or Venmo. And I hope you'll be able to join me next month on April 21st for a program of the harp in springtime. So I'm going to be playing a couple of pieces by Grangeny and Tournier for that program. 
uh, the screen should uh, fade out to black um, and then freeze for a moment so that way hopefully I can answer any last minute questions. Thank you all again for coming.